Hi friends, welcome to AK Electric YouTube channel. Now we are going to see winding resistance test. Principle, as injecting DC current to transformer windings, resistance of windings were measured. By this way, resistance were measured to determine if any changes were occurred in the current carrying path of the transformer. Purpose, to detect short circuit in winding turns, poor joints, or bad contacts to check tap selector and diverter switch contacts to ensure power cable terminal bushing were under proper torque to calculate the resistance component of the voltage drop under load in this video we are going to see how to use formula for copper winding and aluminium winding resistance test how to give test connections how to cross check the test report and criteria for test current and so on so don't skip the video watch fully winding resistance test can be done by Wheatstone bridge and Kelvin's bridge these two methods does not inject any current to windings it's direct measurement of resistance from windings these methods were very accurate for resistance measurement but for some other reasons Many countries and most companies started using latest digital test equipments. Winding resistance test by voltage current method. The test current is injected to the windings and corresponding voltage drop across the winding is measured. By Ohm's law, R equal to V by I, on this way resistance can be determined. Test procedure. Before starting the test on transformer, transformer winding temperature should be equal to oil temperature so de-energize the transformer for four hours without excitation ensure transformer body is earthed and all other terminals were free from other connections inject 10 ampere dc or 40 ampere dc through variable dc source test current should be within 15 percentage of rated current of the winding too much of high current is injecting will heat the windings and have chance to give wrong measurements. Inject 10 ampere DC to R to Y. Measure voltage drop through voltmeter and ampere shown in ammeter. Next inject 10 ampere DC for Y to B then for B to R. Note down the readings. For measuring the true resistance, reading should be taken after the current and voltage reached steady state values. Depending upon the transformer impedance, it will take time for steady state. For delta, measurement for winding between R to Y, Y to B, B to R. And for star, R to Y, Y to B, B to R, R to N, Y to N and B to N. Measured voltage and current should apply on Ohm's law for getting true resistance. Repeat this test for all tap positions on HV side. As transformer winding is highly inductive, DC supply should be switched off carefully. Winding resistance test by current voltage method. Here also I have given test procedure with circuit diagram for test connection. Now we will start analyze the test report. Test lead resistance already measured as 0 0.11 ohms. Test lead is a cable from testing kit to transformer bushing terminal. Now observe R to N voltmeter reading as 0 0.70 and ammeter reading as 5.1. For finding resistance value, apply Ohm's law here by V by I. So 0 0.70 divided by 5.1 will give us 0 0.137. Now eliminate test lead resistance from 0 0.137. So 0 0.137 minus 0 0.11 will give us 0 0.027 which is actual transformer winding resistance. Likewise we have to measure all other connections that is Y to N, B to N, R to Y, Y to B, B to R. For star connection the resistance per phase could be half of the measured resistance between phase to phase windings. One can verify this by test report as R to N is 0 0.027 whereas for R to Y is 
0.054. Caution. As transformer winding is highly inductive, when DC supply is switched off, a heavy back EMF will be induced, which can damage test instruments and test person. So first disconnect voltmeter and ammeter from the circuit and then switch off testing kit. Winding resistance test. As transformer winding is highly inductive, when testing, one should apply current and voltage with separate source and for measurement one should use voltmeter, ammeter, multimeter, wattmeter etc. When injecting power on and off there will be back EMF from transformer. If there is not precautions in technical aspects then there will be damage to measuring instruments and test personnels. To avoid such issues with the help of modern technology there are available many testing kit for measuring winding resistance. Among those we use MTO210 and CPC100. Advantages of modern technology testing kit. In these two testing kit as well as in modern testing kit mostly the back EMF issue were eliminated. Once the test complete the testing kit automatically discharge the windings. Testing time consumption using modern technology testing kit is comparatively very less. Injecting parameters like voltage, current and measuring parameters were in digital values. Light lamps for indicating test is in progress, interlock features, large storage for test results were added advantages. Winding resistance test by CPC100 testing kit. Test procedure. Transformer body and CPC100 should be earthed before starting the test. According to shown pictures, connection should be made. Current cable and voltage cable should be exactly like shown pics so that voltage drop can be measured exactly. Then go to winding resistance page and set injecting current as 5 ampere with reference temperature and atmospheric temperature. Now start the test from CPC100. Within 1 minute test will get completed and the result will appear in display. One can able to see set current is 5 ampere and injecting current IDC is 4.9215 and voltage drop VDC is 3.1203. For results one can see measured resistance as 649.7, 633.4, One can also verify the result by Ohm's law V by I. 3.1203 divided by 4.9215 will give us 0 0.634. In last highlighted values, you can see it. Once the test is finished, CPC 100 will reduce the engine current to zero and discharge the stored energy from windings. Winding resistance test by MTO210 testing kit. Test procedure transformer body and MTO210 should be earthed before starting the test. According to shown pics, connection should be made. Current cable and voltage cable should be connected exactly like shown pics. Voltage cable always be used in conjunction with current cable. Injecting current can be selected by current selector switch up to 10 ampere. Should wait for measurements results to stabilize. Once the measured value reaches steady state, note down or store values. Discharging the windings will start automatically. Here voltage drop can't see. Injecting current and measured ohms can be able to see. Let's start analyze formula using for this test and test results. Winding resistance test for HV delta side. Test report analyze. Here test is made for all 27 tap positions. One can observe there is 4 column for H1 to H2 values which is highlighted. Same for H2 and H3 and H3 and H1. In sight, test is made at 22 degrees Celsius and then convert to 75 degrees Celsius. So total 2 measurements will be made at sight. With 75 degrees Celsius measured value in sight have to compare with factory 75 degrees Celsius value. Now observe first column H1 to H2 measured homes were in gradual decreasing order. Same for H2 to H3 and H3 to H1. Results should be in gradual decreasing order. 
site measured value must be within plus or minus 5% when compared with factory measured value. Column 3 is within 5% when comparing with column 4 from tab 1 to tab 27. This criteria is for all values one can observe from H2 to H3 and H3 to H1. Everything will be within plus or minus 5%. One can also observe that there is no gross difference between H1 to H2, H2 to H3 and H3 to H1. So this value ensures transformer windings were wired properly with proper tightness. There is no open or short circuit and with no defects in tap changer. Hence this test report is acceptable. Winding resistance test. Formula for converting resistance at 75 degrees Celsius. Transformer winding is made up of copper and its correction factor is 245.5. In some cases, transformer winding is made up of aluminium and its correction factor is 225. Resistance is temperature dependent. That is, if atmospheric temperature is low, that time Ohm's value is very less. Whereas, while temperature is high, then Ohm's value increases respectively. So in factory, this test will be corrected to 75 degrees Celsius or 85 degrees Celsius. Therefore, in site, resistance value will be measured at atmospheric temperature and then converted it to 75 degrees Celsius or 85 degrees Celsius for comparing purpose. For more understanding point of view, here I have converted one test report value to 75 degrees Celsius. One can observe test report from right side top view 0 0.794 ohms measured at 22 degrees Celsius is converted to 75 degrees Celsius as 0 0.958 ohms. So this 0 0.958 ohms is compared with factory corrected value as 0 0.9977 ohms and the difference is 3.88 percentage. Likewise, we have to convert all the measured value to 75 degrees Celsius. Resistance measured at 22 degrees Celsius is 0 0.794 will be increased. Same winding when measured at 75 degrees Celsius as 0 0.958 ohms. So this proves resistance is temperature dependent. That is when temperature increases, resistance value of winding also increases. Winding resistance test for LV star side. Test report analyze. As it is LV side, measurement of resistance is made at one tap positions. Test is made at oil temperature 19 degrees Celsius and atmospheric temperature at 23 degrees Celsius. Resistance measurement is made between X1 to X0 as 3.352 milliohms, X2 to X0 as 3.35 milliohms x3 to x0 as 3.34 milliohms. This measured resistance is then converted to 75 degrees Celsius as x1 to x0 as 4.033 milliohms, x2 to x0 as 4.031 milliohms, x3 to x0 as 4.019 milliohms. Now compare with factory value x1 to x0 as 4.09 milliohms, x2 to x0 as 4.047 milliohms, x3 to x0 as 4.08 milliohms. All the values must be within plus or minus 5%. These all one can verify in shown test report. If there is no FAT results to compare, then one can go for previous field test report. In some cases, transformer may be very old. There might be don't have FAT results or even previous record to compare. In those cases, one can compare one phase to another that must be within 1%. This test report ensures that there is no any short circuit or open circuit or loose connection in windings. Normal working condition contacts in tap changes. Hence, this test report is acceptable. Care should be taken for these 10 points while performing winding resistance test. Winding resistance measurement for delta connections should be made between R to Y, Y to B, B to R. Winding resistance measurement for star connection should be made between R to Y, Y to B, B to R, R to N, Y to N, B to N. Transformer must be earthed 
and test equipment also must be earthed. Transformer should be in off condition for 4 hours without excitation before starting the test. Transformer terminal bushing chamber and transformer body must be free from dust and foreign particles. Transformer area should be covered by warning tapes. Voltage cable should always be placed inside the current cable of transformer. Injecting current should not too much low. If inject low current then result will not stable. If inject high current then that may heat windings and actual result will not come. Injecting current should be above 1% of the rated current but not exceed 15% of the rated current of winding. DC current from 1 ampere to 17 ampere is advisable. Site measured ohms should convert to 75 degree Celsius and compared with fat 75 degree Celsius. Compared results must be within plus or minus 5%. This may vary with country and manufacturer like plus or minus 2% and plus or minus 3%. For old transformer, in the absence of FAT results and previous results, then compare with one phase with other phase with 1%. I hope this video is informative to everyone. If you like this video, subscribe, like and click the bell icon. Thank you.